Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members of the House. It's my distinct honor to introduce to you today our, our minister, Reverend Terry Lynn Terry Lemons, and she is a native of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. At the age of 12, she accepted Christ as her Savior. The Lord orders the steps of this anointed pastor, teacher, and counselor. The Bible and the Holy Spirit have guided her life, spiritual growth, and call into the ministry. The Holy Spirit led Pastor Lemons to read Isaiah 61, verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach to the poor, heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim, proclaim liberty to the captives, and open the prison to those who are bound. She accepted her call to ministry and was commissioned and ordained an elder in full connection by the North Georgia United Methodist Conference and appointed associate pastor at Cascades United Methodist Church for eight years. In June 2015, Reverend Lemons was appointed a senior pastor of Noonan Chapel United Methodist Church. She is a member of the North Georgia Board of Ordained Ministries. She served as one of the service coordinators for the 2015 North Georgia Annual Conference. And I'm gonna read her accomplishments to you right now, but I've, I have a title for her now after I finish reading all this. I think you will agree with me. She graduated with honors and received her Master of Divinity degree from Gammon Theological Seminary at the Interdenominational Theological Center. She received the Gammon Theological Seminary Highest Female GPA Award and served as the student representative for the Gammon Seminary Board of Trustees. She is a second career commissioned pastor with expertise in administration and health care. She has a bachelor's of science in nursing from the University of Louisiana, Lafayette, Louisiana, a dual master's from Emory University, Atlanta, Georgia, and one, this one is in the Master of Public Health Administration, and the other is Master of Nursing, Community Health. Pastor Lemons is a board-certified registered nurse and a board-certified primary care family nurse practitioner, practitioner. With more than 20 years of nursing and administrative experience, she has provided health care services at universities where she developed the student health clinics and served students and staff and faculty. There's more. <laughs> Rev <laughs> Reverend Terry Lemon's ultimate desire is to be in the perfect will of God by preaching, teaching, and sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. She has served in the pulpit ministry at Cascade as a member of the pastoral leadership team during the Sunday morning worship services. She provided pastoral leadership to the Nurture Division, which includes the following areas, prayer ministry, caregivers ministry, marriage ministry, Christian education, Sunday school discipleship, that, which is new members, health and wellness, resurrection and stewardship memory, ministry. Pastor Lemons has served as the speaker at several churches as well at the Ben Hill Cascade United Methodist Church Marriage Retreat, preacher at churches in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Dallas, Texas, Atlanta, Georgia. She has been cited among outstanding young women of America. Is that any surprise as I've gone through this? Women of America, Pastor Lemons finds her joy in sharing the love of Christ. Pastor Lemons is the wife her husband passed away last year, so um, she, like so many here, without their spices, spouses, is moving on and, and here for us today. They are blessed with one daughter, LaShonda Lewis. I want to read this about Pastor Lemons in my code has shut down my computer. <laughs> so, um, well, here we go. Pastor Lemons led the effort to have the churches and community organizations serve for more than 300 families at her church, the Noonan Chapel United Methodist Church, days after the tornado. Y'all heard me talk about that last year, March the 25th. We were so devastated by that. Here is one of the organizers and the, one of the persons to help pull our community together. So she organized area churches, black and white, as well as churches from the United Methodist Council in Atlanta. They all came together with many community organizations to create a drive to help so many people who are victims of this tornado. 
I finally concluded that the person I'm introducing to you today is what I call a first responder minister. She has had this training through the Lord, and when this tragedy hit my community, there she was. So please join me in welcoming Pastor Lemons. Thank you. Thank you. Greetings, House Speaker Ralston, Representative Lynn Smith, and all who are gathered here. Please accept my heartfelt gratitude for inviting me to be your chaplain on this Valentine's Day. Uh, thank you for your leadership to the service of the citizens of our great state of Georgia. My aim this morning, or this afternoon, is to maximize the importance of leading with love because our creator is love. And we are to love each other as he loves us. Love calls us to action as described in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses four through seven, which describes what love is, how to love, and explains what love is not. Now hear these verses, beginning with verse four. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, and it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, it always trusts, hopes, and perseveres. Love demands action. Sometimes we have to deal with some unpleasant situations which require tough love decisions. However, we have pledged to show our brotherly and sisterly concern in thoughts, in words, and deeds. Our creator and sustainer loves us unconditionally. As leaders, we have committed to using our time, our talents, resources, and influence to make life better for all that we serve. Love causes us to be effective, action-oriented leaders who serve all the people with hearts saturated with faith, with hope, and with love. First Corinthians chapter 13, 13 reminds us of the importance of our faith, our hope, and our love. Oh, but love is the greatest of these. Today, on this Valentine's Day, we celebrate love. Leaders of the Georgia House of Representatives, those who are in authority in the state of Georgia, any visitors and all the citizens of Georgia, I invite us to go forth in faith for the future, hope for tomorrow, and choose to share love in all the ways that we can. I want to leave you with this one thought. God, Yahweh, the Lord who is called by many names, wants each of you to know that he loves you very much. Indeed, you are loved. Let us pray. To our creator, sustainer, God, great is thy faithfulness to us. Give us your faith, your hope, and your love. Pour out in this legislative body wisdom, integrity, unity, and wise decisions so that they can live in love according to your divine will and your way 
to continue to make the state of Georgia a safer and better place to live and work and strive for all of our citizens. Bless these Georgia representatives with your spirit, with your courage, with your joy, with your peace, and protect them from all hurt, harm, or danger in the majestic name of your son and our savior. Amen, amen, and amen.